What's going on guys, Vili Felder here, welcome back to Test Drive Unlimited Solo Crown. Today we're looking at the Meta G-Class car, which is the Porsche Taycan Turbo S Cross Turismo. So as always, first things first, we're going to look at the upgrades for this car. So the thing with this uh, Taycan Turbo S Cross Turismo is that it's actually an electric car, which means you're not going to have all the same upgrades that you would normally have. Uh, case in point is you don't have the normal up, uh, engine upgrades, you have this hybrid system, but we'll come back to that. First thing you need in this car is you're going to need to have race brakes. Uh, if you do not have at least the best brakes you can get, if not race brakes, this thing will not slow down fast enough and you'll have a really hard time on the corners, which you will regardless, but without race brakes, it's almost hopeless. I also wanted the track suspension to help a little bit with the braking. Though I don't think it's essential, you can actually see it goes up a little bit, but track suspension just helps with the cornering and stuff too, so that's what I went with. Now, for uh, the transmission kit, I went with the long gearbox to increase the top speed, because this thing already has insane acceleration being electric, so the long gearbox allows me to have a higher top speed, and I can reach that top speed faster with the 1050 horsepower to just kind of... Uh, get me up to speed and build a lead now obviously keep in mind this is a pr 800 build uh, most of the races are around 750 so it might be a little bit different uh, i did also go with the race transmission to just move up that acceleration to 9.9 .9. now for the aerodynamics kit i actually went with neither but i did add this one for a little bit extra pr though it's not needed uh the next thing we're going to skip this. Tires, you can really go with semi-slicks or off-road if you go for that, but I just put mine in all season, and I have semi-slicks if needed, but I've never needed to use them, so I don't use them at all. Uh, and then, obviously, race ECU is obviously something you want. Now, hybrid system has four things. The first thing is the motor, which I would go with race. It's basically kind of like, you know, that's the engine of the car, so you got to have the best one for the most horsepower and stuff. Uh, battery you want to have race and then you want to have this inverter race that's going to give you all the horsepower and stuff you need uh, the radiator can go race it's not going to be anything crazy but it does help so that's the build uh, for upgrades at, at least at PR 800 but the main thing that this needs is tuning so if you have it you're probably at least level 20 which means you have some tuning setups uh, you can just go with sport but I actually made my own driving mode, which has top speed, because that's the only thing on this car I didn't have maxed related to horsepower. So now that I have a 10.0 top speed and 9.9, .9, this car allows me to not only accelerate up to that top speed insanely fast, but also have a higher top speed over the other cars, which allows me to build this insane lead. I want stability for suspension, because this thing doesn't like cornering, so the ability to kind of keep the car stable while it corners is a little bit better, in my opinion, than anything else. I went with hard braking. Like I said, it doesn't like to stop, so you need that hard braking. And then I went with sports driving, so it can turn a little bit better on the corners than normal. And uh, yeah, that's basically all there is to the Taycan Turbo S. This is definitely the vehicle type of vehicle you want to use in races with a lot of straightaways. Even in corners, it's not horrible, but realistically, if it's a race with a ton of corners, this probably isn't the best car, but it is still really good in almost any race with any straightaways, because you'll just build such a huge lead, a huge lead it won't even matter. Anyways, that's going to do it for today's video on the Meta G-Class car. If you guys enjoyed it, please leave a like and subscribe for more content, and we'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.